Gregory Pless. Gregory, the exact circumstances of this massacre are still unclear. Yes, indeed. So far, uh, the police and local authorities have uh, delivered only very limited uh, information. As you mentioned, we know that a, a group of, of men were ambushed by uh, rival tradesmen and that those uh, uh, people who were gunned down uh, were themselves on their way uh, to uh, fight with uh, this uh, rival uh, clan. Uh, what you need to know about this particular region of uh, Papua New Guinea, the Highland Province, is that uh, it's quite rich in resources. It uh, has uh, one of the biggest gold mines in the country, but uh, a very uh, small minority of the local population actually benefits from this uh, exploitation. And that's in this uh, context that uh, over the last two years in particular, uh, conflicts between local tribes have uh, really intensified over land use, over resources, but also uh, most of them are entangled in endless vendettas, uh, revenge killings. Uh, to give you an example, just last September, uh, some tribesmen who were accused by another tribe of uh, killing one of their uh, own, uh, well, went to the funeral of that dead man armed with machetes and what they call their uh, bush knives and killed five other people. And uh, the worst in all this is that uh, this kind of attack is probably the least of uh, the local authorities' uh, concerns because, uh, as you mentioned, uh, there's been uh, a proliferation of uh, guns and assault rifles in the last uh, few years. Uh, their origin is uh, quite uh, unclear, but obviously it makes those uh, confrontations even more uh, deadly. Uh, and facing with those uh, this situation, the local authorities since last year have been trying to limit the circulation of those uh, weapons, but uh, haven't been very uh, successful. Last year, they also tried to, uh, they actually imposed a lockdown uh, for several months. But uh, as uh, uh, these recent attacks uh, just show, uh, they've been unable to really contain this explosion of violence. And it's important to mention as well, isn't it, Gregory, that uh, Papua New Guinea's capital, Port Moresby, has been shaken by deadly riots over the past month. Riots that have considerably weakened the country's Prime Minister, James Marap. Absolutely. Uh, the Prime Minister, James Marapi, uh, so far about these recent attacks, hasn't uh, uttered a word. He let uh, police and local authorities uh, uh, take uh, comments, but uh, he didn't make uh, any himself. And probably because he's mostly focusing on his political survival, because uh, he's very criticised on his uh, uh, leadership, uh, especially uh, when it comes to securities, because on top of those uh, tribal conflicts in the remote regions of uh, uh, Papua New Guinea, as you mentioned, there were very uh, violent riots uh, just last month in, in the capital. Several people died, hundreds of shops were uh, looted and burned down, and many people uh, considered that he was well, first unable to quell those riots. Uh, and on top of that, that he may have actually triggered them because uh, when those riots happened on the particular day their, uh, the violence uh, exploded in the capital, the police was striking and they were striking because last month they only received about half of their salary due, according to the government, to an administrative error, which so far hasn't been uh, corrected, even though uh, they promised uh, it would be. So after this fiasco last month, five members of the Marape government resigned, considering that he was now unfit uh, to lead. And just last week, uh, members of the opposition in parliament lodged a uh, no confidence uh, motion, uh, which should be uh, debated very soon. So uh, it's uh, dangerous times for James Marape and quite a bit of a concern as well for uh, Australian and American allies, because they signed with him uh, uh, these last few months uh, security and defence agreements, and these agreements are very important because at the same time, in Papua New Guinea, as in every other Pacific nation, China is courting uh, uh, very assertively uh, the local leaders. Gregory Plass reporting there from Sydney. Thank you very much.